Can you give us a summary of the research you're undertaking using podcasting and the learner voice? Thank you. Um, as a teacher educator, I'm really interested in how trainee teachers um, move from being inexperienced to novices to competent and confident teachers. And I'm also really interested in how much the student voice, the pupil voice, the learner voice can play in contextualising and informing what trainee teachers do and, and don't do, you know, how it can actually be an added lens through which um, as practitioners we can inquire into what goes on in our classroom. But as a teacher, I'm also interested in the learner voice and how much that learner voice can play um, to inform the practice that goes on in institutions regarding their self-assessment of their teaching and learning. So I did a little kind of piece of research when I first started working here a few years ago and I found um, three or four colleges and schools in the local kind of East London, Thames Valley um, area who would give me access to their learners in the sixth form who would let me, with ethical approval and permissions, record those learners talking about teaching and learning with a view of podcasting those audio files. Now these um, interviews were a very kind of traditional, informal, um, very unstructured interview which produced quite rich, quite in-depth, what we would call qualitative data. And I actually only had two questions. Um, my first question was, can you describe for me what a good teacher is? And then we riffed off that for the whole of the rest of the interview, you know, asking prompts like, what do you mean by that? Can you tell me more about that? And the rule I had was they had to talk about good teaching, not bad teaching, and they couldn't name teachers for obvious reasons. And then my final question, my only other question of the two, was at the very end of the interview, I asked these young people, my trainee teachers are about to listen to this audio, can you give them advice as a trainee teacher? Now I did this about 15, 16 times, and produced a, well, a huge amount, over eight hours of audio in all. And I used Audacity as a tool to edit these, um, literally these learner voice files down. So I record them on um, an MP3 player, um, just an ordinary USB portable device which plugs straight into my computer and which recorded as MP3. Imported the files into Audacity which is a program that we show you on another one of these vodcasts, and then edited and chunked and segmented the file. So I had really pithy, you know, one minute, two minutes, here or there comments from the learners talking about teaching and learning. So what I've done is actually created this hugely rich archive of learners using their learner voice and talking about teaching and learning. And I can use these files as a resource with my trainee teachers. Um, I can get them to listen to the files, to kind of think about what learners are telling us, to engage with a, a kind of evaluation of their own practice based on what the learners are saying works for them. And I found this a really successful way of bringing the learner into the classroom, maybe at the start of the PGCE, when you know trainee teachers traditionally haven't really met that many learners and haven't actually started their placement. But then to add value what I did is I gave the files to the schools and colleges and I did this absolutely with ethical understanding and permission from the learners and all that was built into the process right at the start. So the schools and colleges could then use the files for their own staff training. So in the same way that I had trainee teachers here in the Cass School of Education at UEL um, listening to the files and evaluating and engaging with that dialogue at a distance, at a virtual distance, um, the schools and colleges who provided me access to those learners could do the same. And what we actually ended up developing was a really quite a rich, a rich way of using podcasting in a slightly different way to the, the way in which these other vodcasts have been talking about it but a way that really places emphasis on the learner and engages training and experienced teachers with the learner voice.